Hey guys, today I am in my boiler room with my boiler down here to change out the air separator. Um, if you look at the setup that I have here, ignore the mess. It is a disaster here. I'm slowly going through and trying to clean the installation of everything up. This is a drain hose I've got sitting here right now for um, purging air from the system. And I've had to do that because my air separator here um, is uh, faulty. It's several years old. It's like 10, 12 years old. And over time, those will go bad, especially in areas like Michigan where I'm at, uh, southwest Michigan, where we have uh, calcium and lime and stuff in the water. Uh, that stuff that leaves that white, chalky, crusty residue around your sinks and stuff like that. That'll get in these air separators too, and they can no longer purge the air out of the um, boiler system. Um, and if you've got a boiler, you know it is important to keep the air out of the system. Um, otherwise, they can build up, you know, incorrect pressures and things like that. Um, I've got one over here, replacement for this one. I'll take it, show it to you real quick. This is the replacement stuff I've got. I don't know the pronunciation, Kalefi, Kalefi, or whatever. Uh, an Italian made comes with two pieces the one that I got here this is pretty nice you've got your air separator which technically that's all you really need but this one has a check valve in it so if I ever need to replace it as I take this piece out of this piece see as I screw it in it opens the valve here so water can flow in water and air and then as I unscrew this it closes the check valve so that you know, I can take it off without having to worry about air or, or water coming out of the system. Now, the one that I have here right now has one of those on it, but I looked at it the other day and it's trashed. Basically, that little rubber O-ring on the bottom right there is disintegrated, so it's not doing anything anymore. And the check valve just co uh, lifts completely out. I didn't even know what it was at first. Then I finally figured it out. So, all, I've got my boiler already turned off. Next thing I have to do is isolate my water. And on this one with the hydro separator thing that I've got, it makes it really easy. I've got valves coming into each of the four corners of my hydro separator. And I can just turn those all off. And now I have that isolated so all I've got to do basically is take this off see that part I've already been able to start turning that I've got to get a uh, wrench on basically just unscrew it and screw the uh, other one in its place so I don't know if I can do that one hand grab my stuff here but basically all I'm gonna do is unscrew this I screwed it back in tight the other day didn't I okay <laughs> let me get uh, another hand on this hang on and here we go I've got my new one in place my old one out uh, I was not able to swap this out though, so I'm just not going to have a check valve there. Um, I'm not so worried because I've got my shutoffs on all four corners, so that's kind of not necessary. Uh, although I did notice when I shut these off, there is a little bit of, if you wait a little bit, it purges the air out of the top, the little bubble that forms up in there. And um, it started overflowing a little bit, so one of these isn't closed, closing 100%, which is no big deal. It was only a few drops, so... I already knew that was going to happen. I put a towel around it. But um, my old one, let's see, where did I put it? Here is the check valve. It's a different, slightly different design. But notice on the other one, it had an O-ring down here. This O-ring is disintegrated. It is no longer there. So it wasn't doing anything anyway. So... It's not like it's necessary. It's just a nice option. So we got the system fired back up. So now when air with this 
a hydro separator thing the way it works um, water is pumped from this through your boiler up through the other side and it just continues to make a loop here using this pump and then the big pump circulates water from this to the rest of the house through here so it's always pulling like little mini tank water from this instead of having to circulate it through the boiler and what that does is helps prevent shock so that when the big pump kicks in or your valves open and close you don't get a shock that feeds back into your boiler it stops it right here it's it's a really nice uh, protection setup kind of thing so this is a natural spot for air to form and you'll get a bubble that forms right here and as you're you know after your boiler turns off and it kind of settles those bubbles will make their way up right here and collect so when you fire your boiler this pump sucks that air through and it sounds horrible starting up so this is going to help prevent that when that air starts to form again this is going to let those air bubbles out like they should like the old one should have it just got old and stopped working so um for you can get these without the check valve on them for under 20 bucks it's a it's good insurance i i, I would say if you've got a boiler system you should probably be replacing those about every five years but that's all there is to swapping it out basically you isolate your water sure to shut everything off if you don't have a working check valve and uh, unscrew the old one screw the new one in. that's it hope you guys got something out of it Alrighty, so now let's take a look to see what's inside one of these things. And it's nasty in there. There was like oil in the water or something like that from when it was put together. So inside this, this is how it goes. There's this little float thing. What I believe is when there's, I think this is how it works, is when there's water in here, this floats up to the top. And it, in the process, pushes up on this pin here to close the little valve inside there so that air can't get through. When the uh, there's air that builds up a little bubble of air, this will drop down. I think, I think that's how it works. So that it opens the little diaphragm there, lets air out. And then as this floats back up, it closes the little needle valve that's inside here. So that something in there somewhere is gummed up so that that doesn't work, or this isn't floating, or it was stuck in place, or something like that. Whatever, it stopped working and needed replaced. So these are super simple devices, but they can fail. And look, there's like gonk on the bottom of it, so... And it's when I feel it, it's really sticky. So I think this might have just stuck to the inside or something. I don't know. It was not doing its job. I mean, look. Just look at the mess that's coming off this as I touch it. That should not happen. It's water. So, yeah. Hopefully the other one does a much better job now. I think we've got it good. But that's what's inside those things. Cool, huh?